Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm sharing some projects made with the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit for March 2019, if I can speak right. <laughs> but this is the kit. Um, beautiful dyes, ocean scenery. You get some ocean plants, a lot of fish silhouettes, a little bit of everything here. And there's dyes that will cut out each image except for the little bubbles and the school of fish. Really love the fancy dye in this kit. We're going to use that today in our first project. So we're going to jump in. I have a piece of acetate here and I'm going to use a few of the inks that came in the kit. This blue here is called Blue Water. It's a reactive ink so it reacts well with water. And then this is sea salt. I'm just going to put that in between the blue ink here. Using my spray bottle I'm going to add some water to my acetate and then I'll take a piece of cardstock and just place that right over the acetate. The cardstock that I'm using is a Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and I chose acetate today because this way I can kind of, I wanted to create ocean waves but instead I ended up swirling it but the outcome turned out really pretty. I'm just going to use my craft pick and lift this up and then there's a little bit of ink that was pooling so I'm going to pick that up and put it more towards the center of this um, panel here. Just kind of drag it a little bit. Now I thought we needed a little bit more a color variation. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off my acetate. And then we're going to add a little bit more of the Blue Water Reactive Ink. We'll just spray it with our water bottle and then add this more towards the center, kind of spreading it out. Kind of filling that whole panel in. And I use Bristol Smooth because it really absorbed the, the ink well. Now once I'm happy with the outcome, I'll take my heat gun and dry this. We're going to do a little bit more to our background. I'm going to use the sea salt ink, smush a little bit on my craft mat, and then add some water. And then using a paintbrush, I'm going to add some water droplets. Now I thought this would be a little bit more white. Um, although the color does pull back a little bit, um, it wasn't as strong as I wanted it. So I'm just using my Distress Sprayer and adding water droplets. And this is really going to pick up some of that color and give me a lot of bubbles in the background. Okay, once we have this done, I'm going to clean off my mat and put everything away. I wanted to add some of the little bubbles that was the image in the stamp set. So we'll take our little image, put it on our acrylic block, and then ink it up with some more of the sea salt ink. Now when I first did it, I, I stamped lightly, and you could barely see it. So I really, really inked it up this time, and I smushed it, and it kind of created a little bit of a puddle. You could still see the bubbles, but it was more um, splotchy. But I went with it because like I said, the color does pull back quite a bit and it just added some extra white area on my background. Okay, once we have this done, I'm going to use my heat gun and dry it so my panel is nice and dry. And then we'll take the large rectangle die that was in the set and cut out our panel. Now this die is going to cut out a card front panel. So it'll be four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I'll take the fancy die and using white cardstock with the same dimensions, I'm going to cut out my fancy frame. So we have our frame and then we have our background. Now I did use my Copic markers and colored in the greenery on this frame along with a little coral. I used some greens and then some soft pinks for the bottom area there. Okay. Next we're going to do some stamping. We're going to stamp some fish. Now I'm going to use two different colors of inks. These are little mini hero hues. And we're going to start off with a purple ink. This purple ink is passion, no, uh, passion flower, yes. And then I'm doing a little bit of shading with the darker ink, which is amethyst. Um, this is going to give my fish a little bit of dimension and give it a gradient look. And I really like that. In fact, I did that with all of the images I stamped today. For my next one, I'm using some pinks. I'm using a soft pink and a cotton candy to do a little bit of shading. We'll stamp a few more fish. This We're, we're going to stamp the turtle this time. We're going to use some green inks. I have um, just, again, two different tones of green inks to do a little shading. And then we're going to stamp one more fish using some yellows. The yellow is butter bar and then um, pumpkin pie.
And like I said, I did um, the double shading with all of the images I stamped today. Okay, we're going to stamp our sentiment. And then for this card, I chose um, Just Keep Swimming. Super cute. I'm going to stamp it with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on some white cardstock. And I'm going to die cut this out with a circle die. I'm going to offset it a little bit more to the left here because I am going to put a straight edge on that right side. For my fish, since there's coordinating dies, I'll just die cut all of my little fish out and my turtle. <laughs> and then we are ready to assemble. I already added thin strips of foam tape around the edge of my frame and I'm going to add my sentiment to this inside piece here. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to tack it down. And then I'm going to add some more foam tape as much as I could because um, it was such an intricate die. I want to make sure there's a lot of stability on this panel. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my background panel to my card base. The paper did warp a little bit, so I'm being real generous with my tape runner. But we'll adhere this to our card base and it fits it beautifully. Lovely. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of my foam tape and add my frame. Now we're going to add our fish, just adding some dimensional adhesive behind them. We're going to fill up our little aquarium here. Add our turtle right next to our sentiment. And I'm going to re kind of reposition the upper fish here so it's a little more balanced. I love the bright colors, so I think this turned out so fun. And I did dot the eyes of my fish with a black marker. For bells and whistles, I'm going to use just the blue droplets that came with the kit this month. Add a few here and there, and then that finishes off my card. Today we're only making six cards. Um, the video did run a little bit longer, and so I wanted to um, shorten it a little bit, but yet show detail on how I made the cards. For my next project, we're going to create a shaker. So using two double stitched rectangle dies, I'm going to cut out a frame. I'm just layering them both together. So I have a, a nice size frame. And then I thought we would stamp our sentiment on some Judikins Embossable Acetate. I'm going over the acetate with my anti-static powder bag. And for this card, I chose the sentiment that says you are a fantastic friend. I'll just ink it up with my Versamark ink and stamp that very carefully on my acetate because it does have a tendency to slide around. And then while we're at it, we're going to stamp a large coral piece that's in the stamp set with my Versamark as well. I'm going to position it directly above my sentiment here. Now we're going to go ahead and add some white embossing powder over our acetate. I'm going to tap it really good to get almost, well, all the excess off here. And there's still, there's some stragglers, so I'm using my paintbrush to just kind of brush away the excess. And then I went ahead and melted it with my heat gun. I'm going to go ahead and glue down my frame right over the acetate. And I did offset it a little bit. Um, our shaker is going to be um, embellished more on that, that right side, so I wanted to offset it. Um, next, I doubled up on my foam tape, added it to the back, and then filled it with my droplets, added a back piece that fit perfectly, and that is our shaker. I love the droplets on that white background. They just stand out and they're clear. They look so, so neat. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this in the center of my card base. And then I already colored it or stamped a few of the images in the stamp set. I have two of the um, the greeneries, the crab, um, an orange fish, my beautiful starfish with the yellow, and I did the two-tone gradient with these as well. And then I did do the rock also. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this one directly to my window. And then for my rock in the second greenery, I'm going to glue together and then we're going to flip it over and add some foam squares behind here. So it just pops up a little bit more from the, the shaker window. We'll place that in the bottom corner of our shaker window. 
we'll go ahead. I did add foam tape already behind my little crab. We'll just put him right next to the little rock there. Add a piece behind our orange fish. Put him in the coral. And then we'll add our little starfish. I'm going to finish it off with some Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are White Blizzard. It's a real pretty iridescent. And I'm going to add it to my greenery. And then also my little starfish. And that completes my second project. Okay, for my third project, um, there's a sentiment in the stamp set that says, with waves of appreciation. So I thought we'd make some waves using the inks. So I'm using the blue water and the sea glass, but this time I'm blending it with a blending tool, and I'm alternating the colors. Um, the cardstock that I'm using is, again, Strathmore Bristol Smooth, and it's, I don't think it's meant to, bl it blends okay, but I don't think it blends as well as oxide inks. <laughs> but, um... I wasn't too concerned about them blending together because I'm going to use a border die to create some waves in this background. So the variation in color kind of worked in my favor. Next I'll take my sea glass or sea salt um, reactive ink, add some to my mat, and then I'm going to spray a little water to thin it out. And then using my paintbrush we're going to do some big large water droplets on this background. I went ahead and dried it a little bit with my heat gun and then also with my towel. But I love the texture that this gives. Super fun. Okay, I'm going to make sure this is dried really well because we are going to be doing some heat embossing on here. And I want to make sure that my embossing powder didn't stick. So I'm going over it really well with my heat gun. Okay, we'll take our sentiment, we'll place it on our block. I'm going to use my anti-static powder bag and go over a portion of this panel. We'll stamp our sentiment with Versamark ink. And then we'll just go over it with white embossing powder. And then we'll go ahead and melt that. So that white is nice and bright behind that background. Okay, now the, the border die that I'm using doesn't have stitch lines on it. This one is from Paper Smooches. And everything I use, guys, I'll list down below. But I'm going to create several waves from this panel. So I'll just move up that border die along that panel, creating lots of different waves. I made sure when I did to cut out my wave for my sentiment that it was um, a thinner strip because we're going to end up popping that up with foam tape. But I'm just kind of arranging them so they fit behind my oval die here. And I, want, I made sure that the color variation um, wasn't the same trailing up. After I die cut out my oval, I placed those panels, layering them on my card base. And then my sentiment panel, again, I popped up with foam tape, and I got to get it straight. <laughs> Better. I went ahead and stamped two of the large turtles and one of the small ones. I already added foam tape behind them. We'll place them over our oval here. And then for bells and whistles on this card, I'm going to use some of the green and blue droplets. And I went liberally all over this panel. I thought it kind of went with those splatters in the background. I'm just gluing them down with my glue. Kind of a different card, but I think it kind of went with the sentiment. <laughs> okay, now for a little sparkle, I'm going to use my same white blizzard glitter drops and just go over the um, very top portion of my waves, giving it a little definition and some sparkle. And then that finishes off that card. Love the little turtles. <laughs> Okay, for my next card, we're going to make a bright and cheery card. So we're going to stamp a lot of fishes on this card. We're going to fill in the entire background. So I'm using basically the same colors as I used previously. I'm using two pinks, the soft pink and the cotton candy, to stamp this fish. Stamp it a few times and then do a little shading with it. And then I'm going to grab another fish. And then this time we're going to use a purple ink. 
Again, I'm going to use the passion flower and then do a little shading with my amethyst. And I stamp these more than a couple times. I'm just showing you a couple and then um, later on I'm going to fill in the entire background just to save a little bit of time. For this fish we're going to use pale tomato and red royal. We'll stamp that a few times. Today's cards I want to create um, bright and bold and cheery fish. <laughs> okay, we'll grab one more fish, starfish this time, and I use this one a lot for my filler when I filled in my background. I'm using Butter Bar and Pumpkin Pie ink. Okay, and then we are going to use our orange ink, stamp some orange fish. So I have orange soda and just dressed. We'll stamp this around our background. And then we're going to add some green. Green heels and moss. And then there's my background, super bright and cheery. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to stamp on black cardstock. So I did treat it with my anti-static powder tool. We'll just stamp our sentiment with Versamark ink. And then I'm going to add some white embossing powder. Go ahead and melt that. And in a previous Hero Arts kit, there was some sentiments. It was the one with the carnival themed. Um, I grabbed the U from that and I'm going to die cut out a black U. And I did stamp another fish with the pink inks. <laughs> I went ahead and cut out my panel. The panel size here is four inches by five and a quarter. So I have a little bit of a border on my, my card base. We're going to add some foam tape behind our sentiment, which I blocked off just using my scissors. And there's a little open area in that center and I wanted to fill it in. So this is going to go pretty much in the center. Now, since I die cut out the U, I'm going to use my fish to cover up the U on my sentiment. So we'll just adhere this over that U. The sentiment says, of all the fish in the sea, I choose you. We're just kind of altering it a little bit. I'm going to glue down my die cut U and place it right on top of my pink fish here. For bells and whistles, a little sparkle. We're using those same Nouveau Drops, the White Blizzard, adding a few dots here and there. And that finishes off that card. Okay, for my next card, I wanted to use that frame die again. I thought it was just super pretty. I have one with, I cut out with gray cardstock and then the other one with white. For both of these um, frames, I'm going to use my paper trimmer and trim off the side panels. I thought we would make a portrait style card today and so I'm, I'm going to just trim off the, the the side panels. Now the white ones we're actually going to use on our next card. So we're going to keep those. I'm going to do the same thing to my gray panel here. And then using some glue, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to some white card stock. Now it's not centered or anything because we're going to end up trimming it down. I just placed it on there and then um, we'll trim it down later on. But um, we're going to go ahead and add some bubbles. I'm using a pale blue ink. This is cornflower. We'll just add a few bubbles to our background. The very soft ink. You can probably barely see it on the camera. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. For this card, I chose the sentiment that says, I would swim the seven seas to find you. And I thought we'd pull in some of that gray from our frame. So I'm going to be using a soft charcoal. We'll stamp that inside our aquarium here. And then I did stamp a few fish using that same char uh, soft uh, granite ink. A few of our little Nemo fishes. And I thought my sentiment was just a little too light. So I'm going to actually go over it with some dark charcoal ink. And I got lucky, I, it stamped well. And I think that looks a lot better. Now I'll take the white frame. I'm gonna add some real thin strips of foam tape behind it. And then I'm gonna place it on top of my gray aquarium, kind of offsetting it just a tad so it peeks out. 
kind of creating like a shadow. Once we have that adhered, we had I had stamped some greenery and some elements for my aquarium using basically the same inks. I'm going to do a little tucking here with the greenery, and then we'll add our red coral piece, tucking it on the bottom. For our little castle here, I'm going to add some dimensional adhesive behind it. We'll place tuck that on the bottom there. We'll add our purple sea anemone. <laughs> I always like saying that word. My girls, my kids do too. <laughs> and then we'll add our last coral, our pink coral piece, kind of doing more tucking. And I love the the uh, the forward colors of our images in the front, and then that gray in the back. I think it looks very neat. Now I'll take my scissors and trim off around the edges of my panel, and then I'll flip this panel over and adhere it to my card base. We're going to center it. I'm going to add a little sparkle by using my same glitter drops over just a few of the bubbles to give them a little dimension and some sparkle. And that finishes off that card. Now for my final card today, we're going to use that leftover piece and I love the way this turns out. So we're going to start out by creating a background using some of the reactive ink. Um, I'm basically mixing the blue water and the sea glass together. I'm going to add some water to it and also to my cardstock. This is Canson XL watercolor cardstock. I started off with one color and ended up adding some more and just um, smushing it left and right on this panel, kind of creating some horizontal lines. I'm going to use my heat gun to go ahead and dry my panel and then I did trim it down so it's a little bit smaller. This is going to go behind our little leftover pieces there. I colored in the greenery on these edge um, pieces leaving the frame around the sides white. Now all we have to do is glue them together and when you glue them together they overlap so you can't see the harsh cut lines. And I think it turned out super neat. You have that little dome shape on the very top. And then um, it just, I love the way this turned out for a piece we'd normally discard. <sighs> I'm just going to place this over my background and trim off the excess so I have a background panel. And then I'm going to add some acetate behind here. We'll just use our tape runner and adhere that to the acetate. And then We'll just trim off the excess. We're going to add them some thin strips of foam tape. Once our foam tape's added, we're just going to remove the release paper. Now I thought it'd be fun to add a little sparkle on the inside, not really creating a shaker. I'm only adding one layer of the foam tape. So um, I have some Stampendous shaved ice. It's a beautiful iridescent hue and it really picks up that blue that we're going to have in the background. Um, just using my scooper, I'm going to add some of my shaved ice on the inside of my window here. Kind of spreading it out because I don't think it's going to move very much once I have my backing on. We'll add our back panel and you can see here that shaved ice really adds a lot of um, sparkle and, and texture to that. I went ahead and adhered that to the left side of my card base and then I stamped a few fish with different colors. We're going to add some foam adhesive to the largest two and before we do anything else we're going to stamp our sentiment. The last sentiment in the stamp set I haven't used yet it says happy birthday fishes. I'm stamping it with Versafine Onyx Black ink on that bottom right corner. We'll go ahead and add our fish and our two little ones we're going to tuck kind of in between the greenery in the background, giving the illusion that they're kind of inside the water there. Now for bells and whistles, we're going to add a few, just the blue of the droplets. And I'm using the um, largest ones to cover the seams um, on that, that panel, the window that we created. But I love the way that turned out. I think it's super cute. <laughs> Here's some close-ups of this one. So now we get a look at all six cards that I made today with the My Mentally Hero kit for March 2019.
Um, when I create these cards, I try to, try to create some different something different from them, so I hope I gave you some ideas. Um, I'm not sure if the kit's available, but if it is, I will link it down below for you guys. Super fun kit, and that background die is just super fun to play with. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, I wish you a lovely, lovely day. Thanks so much again. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.